Hi there, Capricorn. This is Kim here to do your reading. Hope you're doing good. The song that came on before this reading, not right before, but kind of, but I feel like is relevant to you, was I'm Still Standing by Elton John. I'm Still Standing is you know, a song about how no matter what people do uh, to you or no matter what you've been through, you're still standing, but you know, and not only are you standing, but you're like succeeding as you're standing. So it's like, uh, I'm standing and I'm better than I ever. Something like, I, I don't know the words to it, but I'm still standing. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still standing. Let's give another shuffle here. I'm going to pull from Kim Cran's Wild Unknown Alchemy deck to get us started in your reading. <clears throat> oh, and the reason that you didn't have a short and everybody else did on my last batch of shorts was because it messed up. And, and it, like, it wasn't until the day after when I was actually posting them that I saw that yours messed up. So I will do... Here's first next time. Nice. Sun Splendor. Okay. We're starting off with a really good card. The Sun Splendor has to do with you enjoying what the sun is bringing you. There's two sun cards in this deck. And the Sun Splendor is, it will have, you know, what is that? What does that make you feel like when you say I'm enjoying something and all it's in all its splendor? So here, absolutely. And then we have two birds here. It could be like a lover's reference to this, bringing in soulmate energies for some, bringing in new relationships. It could be soul group, soul tribe, for the, you know, for the purpose of business too, relations, um, or maybe just a friend, um, enjoyment, uh, whatever it is, no matter what stage you are in life, whether you're working on a business, whether you're retired, and that's not what you're wanting, you're not wanting to work on anything except for maybe socializing and, and some type of um, hobby or something. Now, if you're looking for love, looking for love in all the wrong places. Uh-oh. So, I'm Still Standing is a song about being hurt, and uh, yet I'm still standing. <laughs> Meow. So, Mercury on the bottom, Neptune. Hmm. Neptune in the reverse is interesting to me. I'm feeling like you're not, okay. Oh, oh okay. Some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. But there is one prayer that you have coming it's just not attached to something or someone that you had prayed for in the past but like i don't think that that's a big deal to you I think something is like no that hurt me i'm still standing um and so or something that didn't work out being because you're on the road to like something better something grander something bigger it is a there's some type of miracle it is a prayer answered it's going to be answered in a even better way than whatever prayer you sent out. But you did get heard. You did get heard. Neptune, compassion, forgiveness. Making room for more love and abundance. What else for Capricorn? Okay, this is uh, something that's process in process. The mortification card is it is about the death, the underworld, the closings, the ending of something, but it's also like it's sideways. So it is, it's a, it's a card about the process and about how it makes the ground fertile. It's making your ground fertile. Because, no, you do have a rainbow up there. It just hasn't been colored in yet. This is an experience that you have, that you've yet to experience. 
Oh, salt. <clears throat> what a powerful card for you to get. Because the salt has so many references. I like the old myth that's associated with salt. I love this myth. The myth goes that there was a king who had three daughters and he asked them, basically, why do you love me so, <laughs> you know? And the first daughter said, I love you more than all the gold in the kingdom. And he was satisfied with that. And the second daughter said, I love you more than all the gems in the kingdom. And he was satisfied with that. And then the third daughter said, I love you more than all the salt in this kingdom. And he said, salt. And he was uh, like, uh, you know, oh my goodness. And uh, cast her out of the kingdom for saying that because it was like, how dare you? <laughs> you know, so she goes out of the kingdom. She hooks up with a salt king because the salt gods were angered. They were angered at this king, her, her dad, uh, for what he did. So they put like a spell, you could say, upon the kingdom. When she was gone, they decided to turn all of their salt into granules of gold. Okay, and so at first the king was like happy because he has all this gold now, tons of it, right? And then people start dying of disease. They're not able to pr preserve their food. And of course, there's not any refrigerators. This is a very old myth, though. So there's not any refrigerators during that time, right? And um, people start dying because also they have to have that balance in their body, the pH balance. The salt helps us transport oxygen in our blood to different areas of our body. It works with, you know, iron and things like that. So salt is really important. Salt's really important. And anyway, the myth goes that the girl came back. She's like, hey, this is my king that I'm married to. And this is Salt King. And the dad, for, you know, but didn't forgive her. He said, I'm sorry, basically. Will you forgive me? And um, I'll, I'll give you my throne, basically. You're the daughter I would choose. And uh, then they turned all of the salt back into salt after that. Because salt is very important. Very important. You are the salt of the earth, and if you think about change, uh, salt, it doesn't really, um, it changes things. It, it itself doesn't usually change much, like within taste and, you know what I mean? Like, it changes things is what I'm getting. The salt changes things. And so, you are the salt. You are the uh, physicality of the divine here. On the earth it's pointing this out to you it points it out to you in a lot of religious texts too about how you are the you are the salt of the earth um, you're here to make things taste better <laughs> you're here to make things taste better and of course because the wise salt right is the wisdom is the wisdom it's the wisdom to know that if you had a choice between gold or salt you should probably pick salt <laughs> if you don't have a, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's just, you're essential. You're essential is what I'm getting. Okay, I have the blood card. What is going on back here? Oh my goodness, get down. Get down. Hang it. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to figure out what was in the cat's mouth. Okay, so I have blood. Um, blood is, uh, you, not only are you the salt of the earth, you are practical, grounded, rich in many ways. In many ways. You have this blood cart tying it all together, tying it all together. The salt making the blood pump, the salt inside the blood helping oxygen get transmitted through the body. Oxygen helps your nerve transmitters transmit better and so therefore you feel more. 
So you could be really feeling more at this time too. That could be a message also. All right, so let's get... Won't you stay just a little bit longer? Oh, won't you stay? Won't you please say your mind? Say you will. That's for somebody. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Red, uh, red pill, pill, pill. Okay, well, that can be temperance energy here as showing us a balance. A balance of what is ending or in process. And then the blue temple, though, uh, has to do with, uh, well, you see the sky in the picture. So the sky, we usually get that song, um, the spirit in the sky, where I want to go when I die, when I die, and they lay me to rest. I'm going to go to the place that's the best. That's what's going on with the uh, blue temple. You're getting messages, downloads, visions, third eye, eye opening, chakra activations, spiritual insight, and upgrades through the Blue Temple. This is creative vision from spirit. The spirit in the sky. There I go when I die. Too many. it's like that mazzy star song fade into you you're fading into spirit spirit wants to fade into you in a, in a way so beautiful to enhance your vision of what is possible and what you can divinely create oh you can have gold too they're saying you can have gold too, along with your salt. We will give you gold also. The gold is pointing, is to be found here in spirit. What they're giving you is gold. Golden. You're so golden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Da -da. And then on the bottom, I have the Ouroboro. So there's a new cycle, a new chapter coming, being presented. Hmm. You can have your gold too. And I did shuffle these and on the bottom is the magician. So that's not just from the last one. And 13 was on the timer. <clears throat> Ending, death card, transformation. Change. You can have your gold too. <laughs> and rubies. And rubies. Okay, my feet are starting to go. The other song that came on <clears throat> before, <coughs> excuse me, before this reading, let me get a drink, uh, was Simon and Garfunkel, The Sound of Silence. So, yeah, hello darkness, my old friend, I've come to talk to you again. Three of wands. It's the sound of silence. And it says, and the people bowed out, bowed down, and prayed to the neon god that they made. Hmm. Okay, three, it's three of wands, and then I have two, two, <clears throat> two of wands, two of pentacle. This could be partnerships, alliances that are forming. 
new ones to be forming. There's also another Oro Bro. So your expansion here is coming in this next new cycle. New alliance, alliances and partnerships. Calm down, please. New alliances and partnerships. Two of Wands. I think you're aligning with yourself really good. You're in really good alignment. You have good focus. There's something that you could be planning. You also see the two snails here and you see two people clearly on this because again, we could talk about a partnership, could talk about somebody watching you from a distance and planning or trying to visualize something with you. Cause so it could be you aligning with a powerful person. Um, all, as you are a powerful person. Let me add that. And then the two of pentacle is a choice and the tree is making another oro boro. So I'm seeing this as major cycle completions for you. Hmm. Choices and decisions all bringing harmonious change. What is gold? What is gold number 79? Atomic number 79, what is gold? <clears throat> gold is a precious, noble metal. <sighs> it is highly conductive. Oh, and it is non-reactive to tarnishing, you know, due to Oxygen, hydrogen, oxygen, and, or hydrogen. It's non-reactive to that, meaning it doesn't, it, does, it won't tarnish. There's something about what you're creating with spirit. They're saying that it's not going to tarnish. It's not going to oxidize and wither away as everything else on this earth does. It will remain. Even when you, as I will too, go up to the spirit in the sky. That whatever this is, that is being created here, you take with you. So obviously it has to do with love too. Hmm. What are you building? The four of pentacles. Because it could, in, and in this card specifically, there is like this entity that this person or this it's like, if this is you, then you're that earth angel here, right here on the inside, trying to shove, shove a door shut, keeping your doors closed to this energy, wanting to get in and invade your space. Doesn't look like a good entity or influence. And so I think it would be wise for you to shut the door on this or wise to be closed off to certain things. Why is the door off the hinges is what's going through my mind. I don't know. Is somebody off their hinges? Do you feel like someone's off their hinges? Not functioning right? Not acting right? I have two, two, three, four. Something's in alignment. You're about to see something. Well, yeah, you're about to see something very clear. Another sun reference. Oh, oh. You're about to see something six of cups on the bottom about to make good memories too about the ouroboro again wheel fortune and the sun and the ace of swords you're about to have some type of huge epiphany of the gold within you clarity of thought this is like a big it is a big win for you somehow this it's like a victory card the person is pregnant on the card um we could say pregnant with something new so it's been germinating for a while here and the wheel of fortune is the new the new cycle good luck uh fortune good fortune the scarab beetle here associated with magic maybe specifically egyptian magic the emerald um tablets toth 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 um sun 
masculine energy it's reminding me of raw i guess we have all kinds of connections here but the ouroboro is definitely here and then the sun is like you're it's bringing in something for you to see without a doubt about this new experience that you are to have that you will have this is possibly bringing in an extra surge of energy if you've been feeling low in energy this would bring, be bringing in a surge of extra energy for you and it, it may be about action about what kind of action taking action with the rose with the blood card concern number 23 i mean 23 what in the world what's wrong with me 33 27 33 is concern it has the concern on it with somebody kind of like um not knowing what to say necessarily because they're thinking they're covering up their mouth they haven't said anything yet concerned about your satisfaction and happiness in life there's the sun coming in they're getting information this feels like a different another individual i don't know where the extra income comes from but it will be unexpected Happy to receive it, though, I'm sure. Looks like the end of working harder and now working smarter. It has been a long road. Does not feel like the privileged lady energy to you because you feel like you're having to work a lot and you're going through some type of struggle. There is change coming, though. <clears throat> Could feel left out could feel like why isn't something easy for me something is about to ease up when it comes to how hard you're having to work through this energy here it can be a health thing too that's changing poverty can mean a lot of different things it can mean that we're doing great money wise but we're looking for love so it can it, it can mean a lot of whatever way that you could look in your life and say i have lack here Okay, well, here's the gift. It is a gift. It's from spirit. It's from the divine. It's the gold. It's golden, too. The mature man. Is that this person? The main female. They want me to go to a different deck. Somebody's health is going to get better because I see bad health in the reverse on the bottom of that deck. So somebody's health is going to get better. Okay, the deep thoughts. So this card, like this card, like the concern card, has somebody really in their thoughts about you. I don't know if this is some type of telepathic connection. He's touching his head. Maybe that um, Cupid has hit, th put an arrow to his head and he's holding a book as he sits, the book representing that this might be a secret to you how much this person thinks about you or how good they think of you, how much uh, they truly are concerned with your satisfaction and happiness. Ooh, this is a very powerful person. They're going to relieve some type of sorrow or despair that you have been through. They're going to aid and assist you out of it um, and into a better cycle. They're part of it. They're part of the plan. Somehow, some way, they know this. I don't know if you know this. They know this. This is a powerful person. Military 22. It's an official person. A powerful person. 
on in your corner they're in your corner it can also be a person spiritually like a very powerful spiritual guide somebody that's very much so like an authority in in something here but this is this, it feels physical it feels physical though too with this mature man and, and the concern Change of spirit guide for some. I'm just getting the message, so I'll have to pass it on. Change of spirit guide for a new venture. A new venture. Um, I have get together. This is about coming together, getting to know you. People talking about wanting to get to know you. They're playing pool. They look like they're having a fun time. You know, like, oh, did you hear this? Did you hear that? But in a in a good way. are talking they want to know more about you they want to get to know you know more about you another gift 1717 could be a gift of independence for some or some type of work that you put in independently that's going to be very successful and look she's holding it with two hands too i think that's what's unique about this kipper style because this is kipper style both of them and they're always holding it in with two hands. Unexpected money on the bottom of the deck. Unexpected money again on the bottom of the deck. And an offer. The bouquet. Absolutely sweet offer. What I tell you, there's some part of this divine plan where you're going to get it, man. This even, um, it's really, it, it goes along with the old secret admirer wanting to present you these flowers. I've been on to this song today that I want to take you for a ride on a big jet plane. I want to hold you, want to kiss you in my arms, want to take you away from harm. That's what this energy wants to do in some way, even if it's spiritually guided to be with a different company, even, you know what I mean? Like to get you away from harm, to give you what you want, to give you this gift, these gifts. On a take it for a ride, each other Want to free you, <laughs> want to free you. Seeing your efforts in life, people are talking good about you, about your efforts, your accomplishments. Want to see you free too. Could be about freeing your, yourself in the mind with that prison. Could be. Have the good lady, <clears throat> the tree, which is about health. It could, this could be about whose health might be improving too if this is a mom mentor or a boss or somebody's health that you are worried about i have to have faith there's something also about somebody on the other side their prayers are um always like heard or they were a prayer warrior and they're coming through as do not lose faith have faith divine guidance there's a woman that will definitely um, also in the physical enter your life or this could be that that your mom mentor passed on loved one is a mom like a, not a <laughs> is a spirit guide now helping you grow a tree helping you place your nutrients in faith or get your nutrients from faith of and spirit and the God and divine some type of commitment somebody really wants to commit to you or some type of venture that you'll want to commit to. There's a desire. It's really strong. And then the crossroads, 22. is like a lover's energy. Because it's whoever is coming into your life. Or whatever big decision you'll be at a crossroads about. I think um, it's going to be like a gift. Honestly, when it comes in. It'd be like, like this was the gift. It's going to be a partnership, I think. For a lot of you all, a new partnership. Zero, zero, zero says you're one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible here in your lifetime on earth. I'm a creator 
and two, I am diplomatic. You have a great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allows you to see all sides of any situation and advise others uh, towards the most fair and ben beneficial outcome. I am diplomatic. So I'm sending you love. Bye.